The APS upgrade is a perfect example of the Department of Energy's investment in the future of the nation. The x-rays that we produce with the APS today are already a billion times brighter than you can get in a dentist's office. Now imagine taking that and adding another factor of 500 on top of that. And that really just amazingly transforms everything we can look at by allowing us to look at it in much more exquisite detail or to look at it at much higher time resolution so we can look at phenomena that are so fast we just can't see them. Today. The APS first started operating in the 1990s is based on accelerator technology that of course was developed before that. In the intervening 20 years, uh, the accelerator physics community has developed better ways to store the electron beam and manipulate the electron beam that creates the x-rays that we use in the facility. So that gives us this great opportunity where we can upgrade the storage ring by replacing it with new vacuum components and new magnets that allow us to steer that electron beam that's a thousand times better than we do right now. So we can use those x-rays to look at the way that pollutants behave in the environment to our ability to make new vehicles, and new uh, airplanes using new materials and new fuels to basic research discoveries and include the possibility of having a superconductor that actually would work at room temperature. We can look at a chemical compound, a small molecule drug, and understand how that interacts with the proteins that would be present in the human body in a way that you can design pharmaceuticals or understand biological processes that allow you to treat diseases. The APS upgrade changes the way that we think about the world and changes the way that we live in the world with the information it produces. The APSU is small science at a big scale. It enables so much research that touches on every facet of our life that it will transform the way that we live in 20 years.